Hello everybody, um, this is the quick unboxing, not of the watch, but of the, well, somebody tried, but didn't finish, hopefully, to open this one, um, but some bracelet, and um, they are from Gekota, doesn't say anything anywhere, but, oh, nice, thick cloth from Gekota, but I ordered a few, uh, I ordered a few bracelets from Gakota and I should say four, five. Yeah, they're all here. So it's four of this and one of this. Yep, they're all here. And some end links. Uh, if you can see some end links, but I will see about that. So this is four Gekota bore <laughs> uh, bracelets. Bore means bits of rice. Why bits of rice? Because they look like bits of rice put together. And just to give you how it looks, it looks like that. And they are, uh, this one are uh, just I bought the one with end links for C. Uh, racing C01 racing series and G01 diving diver series vintage divers. So this is solid end links, which is actually for this type of case. Uh, this is G01 vintage diver from Gekota, 300 meters water resistance, and this is that same strap. Uh, bracelet, sorry. So this is bracelet exactly for this kind of case, for C01 and G01 uh, case. And I now have all in all four of them, so just to play with them. Also that same bracelet it can go on Gen 1 C01, so generation 1 of this racing watch. Because it's the same case as this one, they are both the same, and of course it can go on generation two racing series. You see, so that is the one strap which is going for this case, and. Uh, yeah, I also, well, this is more like experiment to see how it's gonna fill this one. This is a different one. This is combination with mesh and, and end links, something, I mean, I don't know how to call it, but it's look interesting. So I decided to buy, buy one just to see how it's gonna look. Because I do like Gekota straps also. They have a really good one. This is Gekota strap. This is Gekota strap. Leather strap. And I have <laughs> more than a few from Gekota, trust me. And quite happy with all of them. Only thing, as usual, my usual rent, uh, they all regarding leather ones are short. For my wrist, because I do have uh, 21 centimeter plus wrist or eight and a half inch if you want in imperial me measurements so this is this is nice unfortunately it's well not, I will not say unfortunately but it is straight and link there is uh, well some micro micro adjustment, just three holes as you can see. But hopefully that is gonna be enough for some watch. Anyway, um, solid, really nice made clasp. I don't know, 
I will put it on some watch and check how it looks. So that is my new bracelets from Gekota. So bits of rice, which is actually this one, and mesh bracelet, combi, hybrid mesh bracelet. Yeah, I would like it. I, I will call it like that, hybrid mesh. So we will see. Okay, this is just short video about a couple of new, well, this one are all the same, so four bits of rice, hybrid mesh, oh, just nearly, let me just check, does this one have any, inscription on it, no, yeah. So it's the same. I thought maybe there is any some Gekota writing on it, but it isn't. Different from this one, which does have. This one is double security, so but there is also always place here. Hmm. Okay, hope you like it. This is short, just a short video about bracelets, so nothing special. But if you like bracelets as I do, I mean, I do like, don't get me wrong, I do like uh, leather straps. But my problem with them is always uh, the size, because they are too, too short for my wrist. And uh, what I mean by that, it's like this. This is standard strap. Usual standard stuff, not just for Gekota, from everybody. But this one are from Gekota. And I do like this strap, don't get me wrong. And actually, this one is, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the only one which is, let's say, long enough. Yeah. That's why actually this strap is on, on, on this watch. Uh, maybe I even could go. Well, this is my left wrist, so it is a bit smaller than my right wrist. But... As you can see, well, this is just too tense for my taste and just for, because you can't, I, even this is, but yeah, I can go with this. So, as you can see, it's just, a, and that is, I like like this. So it's just that. But usually, usually, I'm lucky if it's like this. You see, I'm lucky if it's like this. 95% of time is like this. And I'm not joking, you see, just like this. And whatever you do is just, this is what usually happened. And I don't like that. So, that is the reason why I, my 50% of my straps Leather straps are custom made, ordered. There is a few of them which I can like this one, and I think I have more than a couple of this one. But this is rarely styled, so it's it can go on racing or chrono, no problem. And uh, but there is not much watches you can put this kind of strap. So that's why I really like bracelets metal bracelets or mesh or whatever because they are really long enough and usually i need to pull one okay not on this one this is literally how it came from gekota no links shorter this is full length and as you can see it's just right there. And that's why I like bracelets. And if I have a little bit of space on the light, left, right, as you can see, no space. I mean, still absolutely comfortable to wear, but that's it. No links removed.
And okay, let's try this one. This just came and I didn't even try it yet. So uh, let me see. This is should be. Yeah, it should be like this. So let's put it on third hole from the end. Set. Yeah, it should be like this. So let me move this one so it doesn't collide in picture. So it should be like this. Well, this doesn't look too much comfortable. It's it's just thick. Do I do? Am I doing anything wrong? No, that is the only way how it can go because that is how it's. This is not good. There is so much better options. Can you? No, that is the only option. How it go? And that is it. So I say on third one. Okay. So let's put it on the third from the end. And let's go on the smaller wrist. My small wrist. <sighs> because left one is okay, this is too dense. Yeah, definitely. I can't wear this like this because it's something is gonna go. I must probably spring pin so it need to go on the second let me do it on this try it with the second one so this is on the second yeah that is now much more and this stroke need to be work on it because it's still stiff but then as you can see, this is what's happened. Let me turn around. It's just there. So this keeper is, doesn't do anything. That is the wrong thing. And the second thing, well, it is still, this is still thick. This is thick as bracelet, even maybe thicker. Let me check something. Can I put both of them? Right. Yeah, I don't like this. Can we do it like this? Okay, I can wear this one on the left wrist. On the second hole from the end, but that is ain't gonna be possible, or maybe it will when it's gonna work out. So this is thickness of this deployment clasp, and leather uh, and the bracelet. So not much difference. I will prefer bracelet or even if it's long enough. And I think this watch uh, Gen 1 is coming with this. Uh, it's, it it looks like that on the, on, on the website. It's coming with this strap and this is long strap. So maybe it's better to order with this one. I mean, it's it's on you. Definitely it's on you. But this is really good one. I like this one. It's soft, it's long, and it's good. And this is the options you can buy. So, whatever you like. You see? Both same cases. No difference between them. And we are talking about straps and bracelets. So this watch, uh, this is gener uh, generation two, C01. 
uh, and you can order it with this deployment clasp or with classic buckle clasp whatever you prefer and this is two straps i believe this is one and for sure is this one because it just came with this one and this is what you can order okie dokie hope you like this video if you like and you think it's deserved uh, please subscribe or also i'm founder of two facebook groups uh, which are on the facebook uh, one is quartz horology and it's dealing with bat battery powered watches and quartz regulated the second group is mechanical horology which is obviously is dealing with watches mechanically powered watches doesn't matter doesn't matter about regulation because it could be there is so many different kind of regulation the the the, the bit but this point is it, they are many mechanically powered so uh, mechanical horology facebook group and quartz horology facebook group whichever you like more or prefer more i like them both i do like uh, quartz watches because the, there are so many nice watches and they are usually just watches you can go with with it so for instance same case uh this is c01 from gekota this is g01 also from gekota but this is racing one uh racing uh, model this is dive model and uh, this one is run on miyota quartz movement this one is run on seiko mechanical movement so and this watch you can just pick up whenever and it's always be from your box or if you wear all the time it doesn't matter because this is automatic mechanical automatic it's gonna be all the time on your wrist so it's 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 gonna go but if you change the watches from daily day to day or week to week and you like quartz i don't know i like them both anyway thank you for watching Please do subscribe if you think I deserve it. Um, until next time, happy watch hunt.